Praise the Lord and welcome to the Chelsea T. Purnell Show. I'm your host, Pastor Chelsea T. Purnell. And remember, this is a show where we celebrate, we motivate, and we decorate. We celebrate family, friends, and faith. We motivate you to take your dreams out of your mind and make them to a reality. And we decorate. We'll transform your space into a spectacular place. And we have a passion for fashion where looking good is on purpose. I want to just thank each and every one of you. We had an awesome response to Authentic Living. And I want to personally just thank you once again for supporting the, the, the show by watching it. And we want you to continue to let people know that we are on KAZ and on the internet and I am so excited for the future that is unfolding before your very eyes right here on KAZ. So uh, last week we did talk about um, authentic living and we will continue to. That is the foundation for our show. Um, I want to kind of backtrack from last week to make sure that you're still connecting with the show and, and what we're talking about last week. Um, and remember, every show, a new show on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, each week we'll have a new show. So today we're going to piggyback from last week's show when we talked about authentic living and we begin to relate it with um, purse, an authentic purse and a counterfeit purse and a knockoff purse. And so today we're still going to talk about that, but we're going to connect what we mentioned in the last show. I got a couple of Facebook um, emails and different things in regards to people interested in living their authentic life and wanting to know actually the steps. How do I live my authentic life, Pastor? Show me, you know, share with me the steps. And so I'm glad that people we've been getting good feedback and I want to share with you how to live your authentic life and the first thing I want to do is thank the one who made an authentic life possible for all of us which is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and we could not do it without the power of the Holy Ghost so that is the first uh, two individuals I want to thank personally for this opportunity to live an authentic life and what I want to share with you on today is last week we talked about inspecting, you know, the quality of the purse that you had to inspect the zipper to inspect the, the thread and the, the materials that was used to make it quality because we know that's how the designer is able to charge the consumer a certain price because of the quality materials. And so today we're going to look at inspecting that piece of inspecting our lives to make sure that we have what we need, the quality tools in our lives to ensure that we are living an authentic life. And I guess, you know, when you think about an inspection, you, you think about um, looking at items, you think about looking at, you know, the fine details of it, you begin to reflect to see, you know, is this the best? Is, is this my best? Or if you're preparing for an inspection, you cross the T's and you dot the I's, you want to make sure that everything is on point. So this is what I want you to think about. Just like that purse, just like um, an inspector coming in or you inspecting materials or, or designer bags or designer shoes or whatever that you buy, I want you to look at your life in that same like matter. Um, and one of the things that we have to inspect, I think for me, when you start looking at the people that you surround yourself with, um, that really speaks volume about you um, and also about the people that you, you network with. So one thing that I want you to start doing is to inspect the people that you call friends, the people that you call associates, um, Sometimes we have to inspect our family members, not that we don't love them, um, but sometimes the negativity or even if they knew you before you were transformed in Christ and they continue to bring up your old nature um, and not really respecting the transformation in your life with your new nature in Christ. And so you really have to evaluate um, the people that you 
are around most, the people that you spend time with. And so what I want you to do is to begin to inspect the people that's in your circle and, and, and consider the fact that if I'm around, you know, we have childhood friends, we have those friends. And I think I've talked about this before when I was teaching a class. And one of the things that I wanted to share with the individuals that was in the class was the fact that there are people who are permanent people in your life and they're going to be those individuals that are there for a lifetime they really mean a lot to you and you know they're there through the thick and the thin the good the bad the ugly the indifferent you can always count on them being there and then there are people that are seasonal people and i liken that to you know if you think of a department store when they're you know, around Christmas time or the holidays, they will hire people to come in, but they're seasonal help. They are people that are there to meet that need for that particular time, but not necessarily a permanent person in your life. So sometimes um, the Lord would allow different people to cross your path and they're seasonal people. They're, they're people in your lives to help you get from one point to another point. They're, they're in your life to support you for a certain part of the vision for your life. Um, they're in your life to maybe babysit your children while you're going back to school or if you need extra hands, but they're really not permanent people. They're seasonal people, people that God has allowed to just help you transition from one um, point in your life to the next point in your life. And so a lot of times as you inspect people in your life, you have to start inspecting whether or not they are permanent people or they're seasonal people. And then once you look at the seasonal people in your life, you have to make sure that there you have to acknowledge that they're there for a season and sometimes we want to hold on to those seasonal people in our lives and we have to kind of let them be released when their time is up when they serve what they're supposed to serve in your life then you have to be able to release them and allow them to move on and let god direct them to the next person that is assigned for them to go and help but sometimes we try to hold on to the seasonal people in our lives and we have to learn how to let them go. Sometimes I've said to people is if you say bye in one hand to them on this side, you're telling those seasonal people, bye bye. Thank you. I appreciate you. But in the other hand, you're saying hi to the new people that's in your life for the new seasons that's coming in your life. So I want you to keep that in mind. You have to inspect people that are seasonal and those permanent people. You want to acknowledge them and value those relationships that you have established with the permanent people in your life. And with those permanent people in your life, you have to let them know that you appreciate them, that you value them. Um, and so I want you to keep in mind that send a thank you note. Say hi, say I appreciate you, I thank you. Never take for granted that people know how much you appreciate them. Okay, so we have permanent people, we have seasonal people, and then we have people that they're not necessarily seasonal, they're not necessarily permanent, but they are transitional people. They are people that help you through different transitions in your life. They're there to give you the support that you need and it may be it's not necessarily a seasonal situation it's not necessarily a permanent situation but it's a situation where they're there to get you through whatever you need to get through at that particular time in your life and sometimes that's uh, a six months a year five years um, three years but it's until you get from point a to point b they're there in your life so I want you to look at those types of individuals that's in your life right now. Look at the permanent people in your life and, and begin to let them know that you appreciate them. 
say goodbye to the seasonal people, say hello to the new seasonal people, and then look at the transitional people in your life. And with those transitional people that are in your life, um, that's in all of our lives, we want to let them know that we appreciate them, but also we have to make sure that we don't put the same expectations that we normally put on a permanent person that we turn around and, and put it on a transitional person. So you have to make sure that you, you kind of know who's who in your life. And once you can identify who's who in your life, then you're able to live an authentic life because sometimes we get emotionally attached and, and it's not really for us to be emotionally attached where we can't say goodbye or we can't transition, but that we are able to identify them and say, hey, you know, our seasons are up. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for all that you've done in my life and, and be able to show them some love, but not really restricting them with, you know, you're so hurt that they left and you don't know what you're going to do and, and you, you're distraught. You can't live an authentic life if you become so emotionally attached. And, and when I say that, I'm not saying that we don't have emotions. We, we do have emotions. We're human. But we have to know how to let people leave when their seasons are over. And we have to know how to embrace people when they're beginning new seasons with us. And we have to learn how to appreciate those people that's with us when we're in transition with all of the seasons in our life. So that's how we're going to live an authentic life by doing and applying the things that I just shared with you. I've applied them to my life and you know, it's not always been easy you know, to let people go that you love and you think that they're going to be there. But as time goes on, you realize that there are seasons. There were seasonal people. And, and the good thing about it is if it's meant for them to come back, if it's the will of the Lord for them to come back in your life, they'll come back at the right time and they'll come back at the right season and it'll come back for the right reason. So you, you can rest in that, that all things will, will work together and it's really gonna be a, a good authentic life when you can identify those individuals in your life. And also I wanna give you this, this, this thought with authentic living and with people. Remember we're talking about inspecting, inspecting the people that's in our life. Um, but I really want to mention this to you which is with authentic living, you have to make sure that you don't have negative people surrounding you. You have to make sure that you surround yourself with positive people. Will people have off days when they just say stuff? Yes, they will. But it's your job, if you're gonna inspect your life and live in an authentic life, it's gonna be up to you to decide what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. And when I say that is, if you're in a conversation and people are negative, you have to make a decision to excuse yourself from the conversation. We have caller ID now. You don't even have to answer the phone if they call. So praise the Lord for caller ID. You don't have to just, you know, oh, here's, every time she calls me, she's dragging. She's so negative. Don't answer the phone. Stay away from toxic people because you can't live the best authentic life if you continue to be with the same people who are speaking negativity and they really they're not going anywhere so we have somewhere to go and we have people to see so we don't have time for the foolishness we've got to make the best decision concerning our lives so i'm gonna leave you right now i'm not gonna stop thinking about you i'm not gonna stop praying for you but i want you to inspect the people that are in your life the permanent people the seasonal people and the transitional people and remember to celebrate yourself because if you can love yourself first you're able to love other people unconditionally i love you i'm praying for you remember you can find me at kingdom keepers church here 444 Euclid Square Mall in Euclid, Ohio at 1015 at Sunday service we have. Also contact my office at 216-481-5674. Know that I love you and I'm praying for you and remember to live the best authentic life that you can. God bless you.